Hello artists! Today we are going to learn how to do paper weaving. Paper weaving, what you're going to need is a scissors, a little bit of glue, and some paper. I like to have, you could either do a colored base um, or warp as we would call it, or you could do a white one like I'm gonna do. Then you also need to have some paper strips. Okay, they could be various colors. They can be made out of just about anything. Magazines, newspaper, construction paper, you name it. So for this, to start today, I'm gonna take my piece of paper and I'm gonna fold it in half. Now this is something you might be able to do on your own. Um, whenever I fold, I make sure my corners are all lined up. And then I make that crease. No, you should be able to do that, but you might need a little bit of help with this. If you are home, you could ask a parent or you could just really work hard on it. I like to cut from the folded edge towards the outer edge, but I'm not going to cut through. I'm going to leave about two fingers, kid or one thumb adult. And I'm going to continue to do this all the way down from the fold until all are cut. Now, once I have all of this warp cut, I'm gonna gently open it, whoop, or drop it. And it should look like this. The thing about weaving is it's all about the pattern. And our pattern pattern is over, under, over, under, over, under. So it's really an A-B pattern, over and over and over again. So I like to turn mine this way, and I'm going to choose a, actually I think I'm gonna use a larger one here because I have it. Gives me a little bit more time to, to, to um, weave. I'm going to take one of my strands and I'm going to begin from my right side, but you might want to begin from the left. It's all up to you. And I'm going to begin by going over. Then I lift the next little strip of paper and I push my paper under and over is the next strand. Under I lift it up. And so my hands are really working together. One hand is pushing the one through, one hand is lifting the warp, as we call it. Over, under, and I can say it as I go. Over, whoop, come on little buddy, there you go. Under, over, under, over, and under. There we go. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna carefully push it all the way up to the top of where I had cut my warp. Now, what I like to do, I'm gonna like to double check, make sure I did it right. Over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do, just to make my life just a little bit easier, I take just a dot of glue, or if you're in the art rooms, I take my glue spreader, and I just do a little teeny tiny bit of glue underneath that first one. And that helps hold it in place. Now I can choose another color. Oh, I like this. And this is where you can have some fun. You can start to mix up your patterns. You can make patterns, not make patterns. I think I'm gonna do an ABC color pattern with my colors. The last time I started over, so this time I'm gonna start under. Under, over. Under, over. Under, over. Under, over. Under, over. And under, and then over. Now I don't wanna leave any space in between these two. So I'm going to push this one all the way up just like I did the last one. So they're nice and snug next to each other and laying flat. 
Now I'm gonna do my double check, okay? It is under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over. Now there's one more way that we can check. And that is to go this way too. And this is important because sometimes we forget where we started and all of a sudden we're doing over, 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 over. So if I check, I have over, under, under, over, over, under, under, over. So I can check all the way this way and going down. Now I said I was gonna do a pattern of three. So here we go. This one I should start. I want you to say it with me. Under, that's, or actually, no, I was under. <gasps> Let's see what happens if I do that. Under, over. So I still have my pattern. I'm under, over, under, over. Under, or over, under. <gasps> Even I get screwed up sometimes. I really have to pay attention. And, ta-da! Remember, I'm going to push it all the way up. <gasps> Do you see what happens? It's already broken our pattern from over, under. This guy should be, oh, in fact, all of these should be over, and all of these should be under. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to take it out and start over. I'm just going to move it down. <gasps> oh, but wait a minute. I have that color thing. I know. I'm going to grab another of the same color. So instead of starting under this time, I'm going to start over. And then under, over. Now I'm going to move that other purple one way out of the way. Under. Over, under, over, under, over, under, over, and under. So now I can move this guy up. Is that looking better? I kind of think so. Again, I'm going to take just a little tiny bit of my glue spreader glue and I'm going to glue that. And you know what, I'm gonna glue this one too because it's on the front. Just a little bit. Now I would continue my pattern of color. So my next color is going to be, and I start because I went over, under, over. This one starts under. There's always ways to check. Now, sometimes what happens is um, we're weaving away, we think we've got it perfect, and we're, uh-oh, wait a minute. What's wrong? All of a sudden, these two started being, <gasps> do you spot, can you spot my mistake? That's right, here I went under, or over, this is under, but this guy should be an over. Now again, I'm not gonna pull it all the way out, this time, I'm gonna just pull it out so it's under this guy, and now I'm gonna fix it and make it over the next. So lots of times, you just have to kind of pay attention and keep checking your work. You will get it, and before you know it, you will have woven all the way down to the bottom. When you're done, you could even little draw little things in your white things or color. There you have it. This is paper weaving. Have fun, my artists.